Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we will discuss Gan charts and how these are prepared using MS Excel. Gan chart is an important tool for project managers. It is used to identify the structure in which a project is made, its stars, and its timeline. So it gives you a defined plan so how the tasks will be carried forward how much time will be allocated uh, to a specific task and how much the whole project will take the time number the number of time number of days to complete similarly it is also important for other professionals for instance in case of research students research professors they will be definitely time and again submitting proposals with the audience, with the higher authorities for approval. So in the proposals, you definitely define the way the project will start, and how it will maneuver to different areas, and how it will eventually complete. So Gantar comes in handy in all this situation. And really pave the way for a better project outcome. Anyways, we come to the point. There are two basically two methods how a GAN chart is produced using MS Excel. Although there are other methods as well, but these are very detailed and these uh, these are not required at your stage, as you will be you will just need a simple slide to represent the overall structure of the project or your assignment. So in the first method we'll use in, in fact in both methods we'll use stack bar options but there are a couple of uh, there are two different ways to do, do it. So in method one we'll start now so we go and uh, the, the, you can see there is a table. In table, there there, def, there are definition of tasks, task one to six. Then there are start dates, completed days, and remain, remaining days. So it overall gives a picture of whole project or assignment. So in order to proceed with producing a Gantt chart, we'll first go into insert. And insert view, you, you can see that there are there is an option of insert bar chart. We click it, and there are multiple options regarding 2D bar or 3D bar. For our purpose, we'll be using 3D bar, 3D stack bar, in fact. So it gives you a blank way, blank area where we need to input data. So to to, to proceed further, we'll right click. And then you can see that there is an option to select data. You click it. That opens a window that asks for the data source. Select data source that is that needs to be input into this uh, data data diary. So, so in order to produce the chart, so we'll be adding the data sources now. Now, in order to produce first series, we click the start date, and and add the relevant dates in front of it. We press it to OK, so it gives in the background a, a gun chart starts, a, a bar starts to shape. Then we add further. We go for the completed days. This is the second series, and the data against this series is given as under. So we've got start date, we've got completed days. Now we need to add the remaining column that are the remaining days. For the for the purpose, we have assumed that the project is underway.
So in the background you can see that there is a bar that is shaping in with the data in, data being input. Now on the right hand side in horizontal category X labels you can see that there is there is just serial number. We need to give it a meaning. So we edit it and we give it a range that is the task 1 to 6. So these are the tasks that define the overall project. <coughs> So we have input all the data and we'll OK it over here. You can see that there is a chart in front of us. But we need to do some tweaking in order to shape it as a Gantt chart. I'll drag it down here for the purpose of and then make it a bit wider. <coughs> so again, uh, as you can see, that there, there there are three uh, different colors the bars have. One is the blue, the other is raw orange, and then there is this gray one. The blue represents the dates. As we do not need the dates in Gantt chart, we just need it. And, in, and the horizontal axis, in order to re represent how the day, how the bar and the movement is uh, taking place against the given date. So we click, click only the uh, blue taskbar, blue sidebars, and we'll right click it. And we go for the format data series. In the format data series. We'll use the fill option and we'll proceed with no fill. So in effect, it is not, a, a, although it is there, but in effect it, we cannot see it. As it is not relevant for our Gantt chart preparation, so we have removed it in effect, uh, effectively. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have got the bars in front of us but we need it we need to give it a specific shape as the start date you can see here it gives us 30th March 2020 which is not relevant for us our project is round about starting at 26th of May so we need to take these bars the starting point should be going to 26th May so this date should go over here so in order to give it a meaning so for that we select the date series we go into the access options and here you can see that there is there is this minimum value of 43920 serial number. So this is the serial number against the dates. In Excel, if you see 30th March 2020, it is represented as 43920 as a serial number in Excel. So what we will do is that, for instance, we use this one. Six pay this is our minimum value. So a serial number is four three nine double seven. In order to go, we we'll put it as the minimum value. So you can see our bar is shifted to the starting point of twenty six May. Again, fourteen. 14th August 2020 is the maximum value. So it is then over here. So what the new shape is that it, it, it gives us a detail, it, it, it gives us the whole taskbar, whole gun chart from start date to the end date.
Now there's something that we need to do that with respect to the task option. It are in converse order. We need to present it in proper manner. So what will we do? That we can see that if we select it over here. So we'll just click it over here, categories in reverse order. So the taskbars are aligned with the table. Task 1, task 2, 3, 4, 5, and, and go further. But there is another, another issue with the dates. The dates are now on the top, you should be in the Minimum, uh, you should be end of the table. So, what we will do is that we we'll take it from there, we go to the labels, label position, and we will put it as high. So, it will come down to, over, to its original place. So now you can see that there is a gun chart that is available for use. It gives you task wise start date and end date and it's tenure like the orange is representing the completed dates and gray option is representing the number of days bygone. So this concludes the, level, uh, the method 1. Now we go to the method 2. It is more or less the same but it is more of a shortcut. Now you click it anywhere in the table. We go again into the insert option. We go for the stack bar and in stack bar we go towards Insert. Again, you will use the same 3D bar and we click it over here. Now you see that it has immediately given us the required task bar, the required bar. Previously, we have used a data source, code, input, and all that. Now it has provided us a shortcut and it has directly taken us. To the to the stage where the, the bar is already the uh, the graph is already produced. So we will again work with the basics. We will format the data series. We will remove the dates by using the no fill. Now again, we need to take it to the start point. And we need to use the date. Again, the minimum value as already defined 4977. So now you can see again it has presented us with a similar picture. We'll again use it as a category reverse order and again the dates have gone up and we need to bring it down to its label position as high. So now that we've got a gun chart produced more or less a bit of tweaking is all also needs to be done like for example you see the start date <coughs> now the start date is of uh, is of no use for us so we'll click it we'll check it again we'll just remove it now it presents us with the completed days and remaining days you can also give a title to this chart oh 
course So there you go. We've got our Gantt chart in place, and we've got through the second method as well. So the second method is more of a replicate. It all it more or less replicate the original method. In the, uh, in the first method, we are using the data source. We we are inputting the data source, and we are going about uh, the whole thing in a longer manner. However, in the second method. We just use a shortcut key by inserting a graph from the data. Hope the video is of good use to you and we will come again with future videos on different topics. So tune in for future updates. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.